Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karok Avaron and today we are back in Lord of the Rings Online. Today I have a special video for you. This is a instance in Lord of the Rings Online and it's one that has is the genesis for one of the more infamous memes in Lord of the Rings Online, Isengard Bids 5. This is the instance which shows you the narratives around why Isengard Bids 5. So, if you've been playing Lord of the Rings Online for any amount of time, you've probably seen somebody in, in World Chat, informally GLFF, um, say Isengard Bids 5. You Maybe you wondered where that comes from. Well, today I'm going to show you where it comes from. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, share. All that stuff helps the channel out, and I really, really appreciate the support. So, this... Where you get this is, is you're going to have to do some quests in Starkmoor. Okay, once you get through Starkmoor, which is here, just to the to the um, southwest of Galtrev, down here, it's usually the second quest hub. It's the first quest hub after Galtrev. It's the it, usually you do Bone Vales first, and then you do Galtrev, and then the the vector sends you to Starkmoor. Now here, there's a bunch of quests that you run around and do. There's a couple of instances. Um, in preparation for an auction. Okay, now we've done all of those. I'm not going to spoil all of those. What you need to do, come and do the content. But if you if you're in uh, Dunlin, you will eventually come here. <laughs> it's just the way that the the epic sends you here. Everything kind of helps you here, uh, sends you here. Um, and I am on the Treebeard server, so. You know, if you're if you're on Treebeard, this is your end game at the moment. Anyways, what you what happens is you'll get to the point where this guy Bedwer is obviously standing at what looks like an auction area. So let's see what he says. Hear me out, Devodiad, for I have a tale to tell. The auction. Everything is prepared, Karok. You have secured enough merchants to attend the auction that I feel comfortable with how much this knight will yield for me. I've gone through Andras good and believe that if he gets a fair value, he should be able to honor his debts even after my share is paid. Speak with me when you are ready to attend the auction. Okay, there's a few rewards, which is nice. Warning, this is a solo instance and cannot be completed in a fellowship. Are you ready to begin? All is ready for the auction. It is an event not unlike a warrior's arena, for my clan is accustomed to waging war with words and coin. Okay, we've got a few people here. I see that you are all here, and I assume ready to begin. Andras even brought the boy with him. I hope his wares fetch a price that is not embarrassing. Shall we begin then? Falcon bid six. That's Saruman. Okay, I trust I'm not too late to join. Isengard bids five, but the high bid was six. Falcon Clan bids eight. Isengard bids five. <laughs> Falcon Clan bids ten.
Isengard bids five. Sold to Isengard for five. The next slot will be a set of cattle registration tags. No, I will not stand for this, says Andras. You have poisoned our clan for too long, wizard. You are destroying the Uk Lurath, or whatever it's pronounced. Bodyguards have moved in. I'll be my guest at Isengard, and I will show you that I, all I have done for your people. So he's choose Andras is choosing to go with with him. Now back to business. You know the rules of the clan may bond. A debt is a debt. So Maybon now has the debt. How can this be happening? We just came to make a sale. It is commendable that you wish to aid the boy, but I must finish the other lots before we can discuss an arrangement. Finish now. Completed the auction. The boy will pay his father's debt. Whether through the war camps or the mines, I will get what is owed me. Okay. I have not seen your kind before. It is always a pleasure to do business with Saruman of many colors, and always a mistake to challenge a wizard. The debt is now the son's to bear and pay. He will work it off beginning today, and you get a reward. Which we're gonna take that. As long as the sun shines, you are welcome here. Lost in the mail. Saruman cheated me out of much money with the last auction. You cannot go against the wizard. Once he names his price, the purchase is finished, whether it is fair or not. At the end of the day, however, I will always get paid. The goods he purchased are traveling by caravan south to Wolf's Cleft. I do not know whether they plan to stay there or head further to Isengard, but I do know they will make it. You will intercept them before they reach the camp. I know that they will not make it. You will intercept them before they reach the camp. Head south and follow the road. When you find them, be quick about it. They are evil men and do not deserve any quarter. Bring back the goods you find there. Once this is done, there is only one more task I will require of you before the boy will be considered debt free free of his debt so that's pretty much it uh again it's it's an interesting um little instance because it 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 shows you the influence of saruman on the dunlan clans okay and the negative impact that's that's what it's meant to represent they're they're beholden to him right they have to sell it to him for five but that is where the lotro meme Isengard bids five comes from okay he he just continues to bid five no matter what anybody else bids and they sell it to him for five so that's where the meme comes from I wanted to make sure that I got that on video to capture it for posterity and also to you know inform some of the newer Lotro players when they see Isengard bids five where the heck is that from now you know anyways thanks for watching i really appreciate it remember to like subscribe share all that stuff really helps the channel out i truly appreciate the support and i'll talk to you again soon